All right, so here we are at the last section of this training on putting together your business model. And I wanna make a point here. This, this section is all about the money, but keep in mind that we've done four other sections without ever talking about money. You know, we've talked about financial resources a little bit and the different ways that we can get paid. But this money is not really the objective. Money is a result of the work that you put in, the effort that you put in. Money is not how, you know, we don't go after money. We go after making a difference. And if we make enough of a difference, people will come beat down our doors for what we have. Building a, a great product is much more important than having a bunch of traffic if you have people who are buying them. So now we're going to talk all about the money. And we're going to start with money isn't is the jet fuel for your engine. It's what's going to pay for your marketing. It's going to, what, going to be what makes everything easier. And I know that there's a lot of people out there who talk about money for the sake of uh, you know being a solopreneur making a million dollars in a year that kind of stuff but if you really talk to entrepreneurs money is the jet fuel for the business and they're more concerned about what the business is worth how much money the business is doing and you know they'll make their business will make 10 million dollars a year and they'll walk away with a hundred and fifty thousand dollar salary or whatever it is because they know that the money is the fuel for the business and that's going to be what what determines their future success and the biggest thing is people have a hard time taking money keep in mind that if people won't pay for it they won't value it people will pay for what they value people will use what they pay for and so keep that in mind and then even the most minimal business has cost you're gonna have hosting costs you're gonna have um, blogging costs you're gonna take time that kind of stuff so we're going to talk a little bit about this bottom right hand corner of creating revenue and working out the revenue situation so the question is how are you going to deliver your product how are you going to charge for your product and how many sales do you need to make in order to break even so what are you going to do to deliver it how are you going to you know what are the different options that you have and so here is the four options that you have for creating revenue the four types of revenue the first one is a transactional and think about this with info products with um, get more traffic products uh, things like buying a turkey on Christmas that's a transactional or I'm on Thanksgiving that's a transactional type of thing the next one is subscription and subscription is going to be things like you know magazine subscriptions subscriptions to inventor.co as you have um, subscriptions to Spotify if you have that type of thing there's also a freemium model which is where you give premium content to people and you also have a free version as well that's also a subscription model then you have advertisements and advertisements are you're gonna see those on bigger blogs Huffington Post TechCrunch CNN has ads on it and that's how they make their revenue largely and then last is the preferred provider, the recurring transaction. And I like to think of these as things like um, your cell phone. We've passed the time of subscriptions where we have more month to month type plans. Also things like Starbucks where it's a month to month and pay as you go type of plan. So the next thing that we have to take a look at is the cost. So once you've decided which one of these revenue types is gonna be best for you, then we can move on to the next thing if you're having a hard time trying to figure out which would be best for your um, for your business go ahead and click on the link set up an appointment with me to talk to me and we'll take a look at your business model and we'll see if I can help you find a way that's gonna be the easiest for you to set up a subscription transaction ads whatever the case may be okay and then lastly is the cost and that is what is it going to cost what are the expenses going to be what are the one-off purchases that you're going to be making? So expenses would be things like a monthly hosting charge or a yearly uh, hosting charge. The cost of paying for your laptop or your subscriptions to something like, um, oh, I don't know, what things like Traffic Geyser if you use this video that type of stuff. And then you have one-off purchases, which will be things like Camtasia, like what I'm using to record this, or the one-time fees that you have to pay in order to get the 
the product in that you need. Other expenses can be if you have an actual physical product, say you're creating a vitamin company, your expense is gonna be how much it actually costs for you to develop it. And then you have marketing, which is how much are you gonna pay for marketing? How much is it going to cost? And lastly, you have things like hosting websites. And actually I should say, you're also gonna have contractors. And contractors can kinda of go into the one-off purchases sometimes, sometimes they become expenses. People who create your logos, people who set up your websites for you, develop your websites for you if that's what you have, people who are developing your product for you, and manufacturers if you have a physical product, and lastly, you have to remember your salaries, and you have to remember to pay yourself, and you have to put this into your expenses, because there's far too many times where I see people who say, I'm going to make a million dollars in a year, but here's one of the things that I want to talk about. When I ran my first startup, and I made... Um, I did over, I did about $18 million in property in one year. Out of that $18 million in revenue, the company made somewhere in the five or $6 million range in profit. But out of that five or $6 million in profit, I only put, you know, about $250,000, $300,000 into any sort of bank account because the rest of it was going right back into marketing. It was going into purchasing things. It was paying for things. So, there was, a, there was money left in the business, but you need to leave money in the business. There was, you know, we had plenty of money left in the business, but what you're taking home is an expense. And so make sure that if you're running a larger company or you have, if you have plans for a larger company, that you make sure that um, you pay that. So the next thing is breaking even. And that's the point that you need to find, which is finding your break even point. And this is vital. And the break even point is gonna happen when you calculate what all your costs are so for example, if you're running a website, you're going to have hosting, you're going to have your salary, you're going to have um, the cost of paying for your domain, and all of this stuff is going to come in and say that you have $5,000 a month in expenses when you pay yourself, because you're going to say take $1,000 a month and put it into marketing um, and $100 a month and put it into your domain and that type of stuff. And now you end up with $3,900 that you're paying yourself in salary. That would be a basic thing. So for example, with the subscription base that Inventor has, in order for me to pay myself that and pay all of those expenses, I would have to sell 100 subscriptions total in order to get to the break even point because I'm charging $50 a month. So what is your break even point going to be in order to pay for all of your expenses on the revenue model? And then you need you do that by calculating your sales per month, per year, your number of subscriptions, whatever the case may be, whatever your uh, whatever the model actually is. And so it's going the the equation here, I didn't write it down, I'll put it down below the video is to have the price per product times the number of units sold minus the cost, and then you find your break even point. And you wanna make sure that your revenue is greater than your cost. And once you have that model and you're able to actually build up to that model, then you start having a profitable business. And that's where exciting and cool things start to happen. So that is the end of this module and we will see you in the next module.